What's happening guys? It's Shane here. So in this video, we are going to be ranking the best and the worst art degrees from S tier, which is really good, to F tier, which is awful. Now before we jump into this, you know the drill. What I want you to do is tap the like button because tapping the like button is modern art. Okay, so uh, if you tap the like button, you are officially an artist. Congratulations. First one on the list is going to be animation and 3D animation. So this one is becoming more and more popular as video takes over the world as well as the internet. Animation graduates can expect to earn around $42,000 a year right out of college within the first five years and then $84,000 a year after the first 10 years. So that's what's called mid-career pay. So this one isn't so bad and I see it being good for many years to come. This one is going to go into B tier. B for boss baby. Architecture is going to be next on the list and this is where you learn how to design houses and other types of buildings. Now if you want to become a world famous architect and design all kinds of amazing buildings this of course will take you a long time. Turns out they don't let just anyone design 100 million dollar buildings. Darn it. Now at this one you can expect to make around $47,000 a year right out of college and mid-career pay is going to be around $87,000 a year. Of course you can become an architect with this degree and with that you're going to be making around $80,000 a year there's 133,000 jobs available and it's growing at around 8% which is faster than average overall this one is pretty good I'll go ahead and put it in B tier B for Bob the Builder next one on the list is going to be art history and this is where you study the history of art now with this one you can make around $43,000 a year and the mid-career pay is going to be around $67,000. You could become a curator for an art museum for instance or maybe you could become an archiver. They make around $49,000 a year, there's 35,000 jobs available and it's growing at 9% which is much faster than average. However, it's really difficult to get a job and on top of that if you do get one it's going to be very low paying. This one is going to go into F tier. F for f my student loans are due. Next one on the list is going to be fashion design. Now this one is exactly what it sounds like and honestly I was pleasantly surprised by the stats. They make $43,000 a year starting out and the mid-career pay is going to be around $84,000 a year. A career that you could go into would be a fashion designer of course which makes $73,000 a year. There's 25,000 jobs available and it's growing at about 1%. This one actually isn't that bad for an art degree so I'll go ahead and put it into B tier. B for Balenciaga. Next one on the list is going to be a film degree and this is one of my favorite subjects. With this one you're going to start off around $42,000 a year and then the mid-career pay is going to be around $83,000. Now as you probably know it's ridiculously hard to get a job in film. However there are a few skills out there where there's a lot of need and one of them is video editing. You can make around $59,000 a year, there's 69,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 11%, which is much faster than average. This one really isn't as bad as you might think. I'm going to go ahead and put it into C tier. C for can Disney please stop ruining Star Wars movies? Seriously. Next one on the list is going to be fine arts and this is mostly going to be about art that's created purely for its aesthetic or visual beauty. Now with this one you're going to start off around $39,000 a year and mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $64,000. Now you can get a job as an artist but it's probably not going to pay very well and to be honest you probably also don't need a degree to get the same exact job. They make around $48,000 a year, there's around 50,000 jobs available and it's growing at about 1%. Fine art is going to go into F tier. F for I freaking love modern art, don't you? Next one on the list is going to be graphic design. And this is where you combine text and pictures in advertisements, magazines, as well as books. Now you can make around $44,000 a year starting off and the mid-career pay is going to be somewhere around $69,000. As a graphic designer, you're going to make around $52,000 a year on average and there will be around 290,000 jobs available and it's growing at 3 percent which is a little bit slower than average. Another job that graphic designers oftentimes go for is going to be creative director and this one is going to have a little bit better statistics. They can make around $96,000 a year. Now the amount of jobs available here when it comes to art degrees you know when you compare it to other art degrees is pretty unique. However the pay isn't anything to get excited about and one big problem here is it's very easy to outsource this type of work to other countries that can do a pretty dang good job honestly. And this is a problem with a lot of these types of degrees but it's especially bad when it comes to graphic design. Seriously, you can get some 
amazing work done on websites like Fiverr or Upwork. I mean, it's ridiculous what you can get people on Fiverr to do. But this is also a pretty good degree that can translate to a lot of other professions and different industries just because of how useful it is. So for that reason, it ranks pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into A tier. A for actually pretty useful. Next one on the list is going to be illustration, and this one is all about drawing stuff. Now you're gonna make around $42,000 a year at first, and then the mid-career pay is gonna be around 67,000. This one isn't as good as graphic design though, and there's just not that many jobs available. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into D tier. D for Dilbert. Next one on the list is going to be interior design, and I was honestly a little bit surprised by this one. It had decent stats. You can make around $41,000 a year starting out, and then $67,000 a year in mid career pay. And this is the most common degree for those that end up becoming design directors, which make around $92,000 a year. A lot of interior designers end up working in real estate and doing stagings as well. So I'll go ahead and put this one into A tier. A for all right, but you might end up working in real estate, which you don't need a degree for. Next one on the list is going to be industrial design, and this is actually a pretty good one. This is where you help to design the products that are going to be manufactured and distributed. And as you can see, this is a pretty useful skill, just about any industry out there is going to need this. Now with this one, you can make around $51,000 a year starting out, and then mid-career pay is going to be around $91,000. Now there's a bunch of different career paths you can go down, but the most obvious one is going to be becoming an industrial designer. You can make around $68,000 a year. There's 43,000 jobs available, which is pretty good for an art degree, and it's growing at about 3%. None of the art degrees are amazing, to be honest with you, but this is one of the better ones and one of the more useful ones out there. It's gonna go into S tier. S for super Super useful. Next one on the list is going to be music, and this is exactly what it sounds like. You can make around $41,000 a year starting out, and then mid-career pay is going to be around $65,000 a year. It is going to be tough for you to find a job, and a lot of the careers and jobs that are out there, you don't actually need a music degree in order to land them, honestly. So overall, I'm gonna go ahead and put music into D tier. D for Damn the Weekends album After Hours was good one of the only good things to happen in 2020. Next one on the list is going to be painting, and again, this is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna start off around $39,000 a year, and then mid-career pay is gonna be somewhere around 58,000. And to be honest with you, this is one of the worst ones on the entire list. There's not much demand for this skill as a job. Listen, I'm not trying to be mean here. Uh, I'm just trying to paint a clear picture for you, no pun intended, uh, of the reality of this situation. It's much better for many of these degrees if you just learn the skill on your own, Take those four years, take that $40,000 or whatever you were gonna spend on school and just go and travel somewhere and just practice painting and you'll probably get a lot more out of it than if you got a college degree. This one goes in F tier. F for funny. Next one on the list is going to be photography, and this one isn't great either. It's another skill that's better for you to learn on your own, and you can expect to make around $41,000 a year starting out, and then mid-career pay is gonna be around 61,000. And this is another one where pretty much all the jobs you could land out there, you could land them without a degree. People don't really care about their degree, all they care about is your portfolio. How good are your photos? So the best thing you can do for yourself is just go out there and practice, practice, practice. This one is going to go into F tier, F for $1,400 lenses. Next one on the list is going to be textile design, and this is going to be all about designs that are printed on different types of fabric. You're going to start off making around $46,000 a year, and mid-career pay will be around $83,000. Now, this one isn't too bad, actually, and it kind of relates closely to the fashion industry. Not as good, though, so this one is going to go into C tier. C for cat shirts. Next one on the list is going to be theater slash drama, and as you can imagine, there's there's not that much demand for these skills on the market. Now, if your dream is to become a Hollywood actor, you know, going and getting a drama degree or a theater degree, it's probably not gonna help you that much. In fact, there's a good chance that it would hurt you because you're gonna be so deep into debt that you're not going to be able to take advantage of potential opportunities that you might have in the future. Now, if you're lucky, you might be able to get a job helping out film crews or different theaters. You're gonna start off making around $39,000 a year and then mid-career pay is gonna be 74,000. Overall, I gotta put this one in to D tier, D for $118,000 in debt for a useless drama degree. I actually forgot to put this one in here at first, but I remembered it at the last moment. This is going to be dance. I've got a really good friend from undergrad who majored in dance and she regrets it. Um, not gonna go over the stats on this one, but it goes into D tier. D for, damn it, I forgot to put this one on the list. Now let's talk about a few important things when it comes to potentially picking an art degree. And I really wanna talk about the three types of value when it comes to selecting a degree. 
agree. The first type is going to be market value. This is basically going to be a broad type of value and what it boils down to is how much are people willing to pay you for different careers out there once you get a degree. So for a degree like engineering, for instance, it has quite a bit of market value, not only in engineering itself, you can become an engineer with an engineering degree, but it's also pretty well respected in a lot of other fields. So you might end up becoming a software engineer or something along those lines. Now the second type of value is going to be niche specific value. So this might not directly translate into getting a job or making money. However, it's something where you might be respected within a certain niche or a certain circle. Because of that, later on down the line, you might be able to get a job or you might be able to start your own business and indirectly, it can lead to you making a good amount of money. Now the third one that I'm gonna talk about is by far the best argument that I've heard when it comes to getting an art degree and that is personal value. There's a lot of people out there that have gotten art degrees that will say that it was worth it even though they probably didn't get a job and they weren't able to make any money from it and oftentimes they're going to be deep in debt because of the fact that it had a lot of personal value. They'll say things like it was a unique experience, I never could have had that experience anywhere else, I met some of my best friends getting my music degree, maybe I met my wife there, you know, all kinds of things like that. Now to me, this is the best argument that I've heard, but it's still a little bit of a flimsy argument if I'm being honest. The problem is, is you can't really argue against it because it can't be quantified or qualified. You know, maybe meditating in my room for one year would have a lot of personal value to me, but it wouldn't have a lot of personal value to someone else. So even though it might've had a lot of value to them, that doesn't mean it's going to be the same for a lot of other people. 